dear students in this video i will be discussing about special combination techniques such as vibro flotation vibro combination and vibro replacement these are special combination techniques for deep dynamic combination apart from blasting and other similar techniques in geotechnical engineering one can use these special combination techniques such as vibro flotation vibro replacement and other such heavy machinery utilized dynamic combinations for combination of fine grain materials okay so first of all let us see about vibro flotation technique it was actually used in germany in 1930s and it appeared in united states in 1948 when the bureau of reclamation studied the possibilities for sand and silt combination at a particular site in this video you will see the methodology adopted for these techniques and the advantages and disadvantages of each techniques in vibro combination method there is a special equipment called vibro float is used it is a bigger variation of vibration probe which is used for concreting so when it is inserted into the soil it will displace the soil and compact the surroundings at the same time the cavity which is formed by this vibro float will be backfilled with coarser materials and it is compacted with the same vibration of the vibro float the vibro float is connected to a vibrating probe which is connected to the machinery vibro flotation is used as a mechanism for implementing vibro replacement a method which combines the technique of vibro flotation with gravel backfilling in order to create stone columns the goal of vibro flotation is to increase the relative density of the soil this increase in relative density results in reduced settlements and improved resistance in liquefaction it densifies the deep cohesionless soils to increase bearing capacity increase shear strength reduce settlement and increase liquefaction resistance vibro flotation has been found to work best for loose granular soils located below the groundwater table in the vibro flotation technique one may utilize three different variations of this technique the first one is vibro combination method this method allows granular soils to be compacted this method is used in compact sandy soils so this schematic shows you how a vibro combination is done using a free hanging vibro probe or mounted on a mast you see here so this is the variation of vibro combination technique in the vibro replacement method it is to replace the poor soil that is poor soil means the problematic soil fine grain soil which is not uh, adequate enough to withstand the uh, superstructure loading so that soil is flushed out with air or water and replace it with granular soil this can be used in various 
soil types such as clay or sandy soils. This schematic shows how a vibro flow is utilized for displacement and backfilling of granular material. Initially a cavity is formed, surrounding soil is densified, then granular material is poured in, again it is vibrated and compacted and it is withdrawn. In the vibro displacement method, no or small amount of water used for this technique. The probe is inserted into the soil and it will displace soil laterally, same as what is discussed before, as new soil column is formed or compacted. This schematic shows the different chips involved in vibro replacement. Initially, the probe is vibrated into the soil. Surrounding soil is displaced using water, then it is compacted, then granular material is poured in. When it is compacted, the probe is withdrawn. Here the column is formed. This is a schematic of the vibrator or vibro compaction probe. It is connected. This, this one is vibro float. This one is the probe and these two are connected to the machinery from where the technician will pass the water into it and granular material can also be poured into it. This is a real life picture. You can see here the probe is vibrated into the ground. You see here water is jetted out through these nostrils. This is another photograph showing the entire machinery. You see here the probe is inserted into the soil. Stone column is constructed using a vibro replacement technique. In the vibro re replacement, the range of soils that can be improved by vibration technique included are cohesive soils. Reinforcement of the soil with the compacted granular columns or stone columns is accompanied by top feed method. The top feed method is this. These are the steps involved in it. You can see here as I mentioned in the previous slides, the same procedure is adopted here and stone column is constructed. This one is top feed vibro replacement technique, another picture related to this. So, these slides showed you <coughs> how the special compaction techniques are uh, performed in the field. In the other slides, we will see how other ground techniques are performed.